Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a date table in Power Query. So let's start the video. Go to transform data. And now at first I will add two parameters for start date and end date. So go to manage parameters, new parameter. Name will be start date. In type I will choose date in current value i will choose a list of dates from 1st january 2021 till 31st december 2022 so the start date will be 2021 0101 okay so this is our start date create a new parameter again and this is for end date end date type will be date and the end date is 2022-1231. Okay. So the two parameters are created. Now I will create a blank query. So go to new source. Blank query. I will rename this query as date table. So the first thing which we have to do is calculate a duration between start date and end date. So for that, I will write a function called duration.days. And here I will write end date minus start date. Add plus one in this function so that it do not miss any last date of the year. Now I will rename this source as duration. So for that, go to advanced editor and rename this source as duration variable. Click on OK. In the next step, I will calculate the list of date in one single column. So add step, use list function, list dot dates, start date, comma, number of days, which is duration in our case. So I will use duration. And the third parameter will have to give the incremental value, which is one day. To write one day in Power Query, we'll have to write in this format, write hash duration one comma zero comma zero comma zero. So what is this? This is one day, zero hour, zero minute, zero seconds, which represents one day. And uh, it's done. I will click on OK. So this will give me a list of dates from 1st Jan 2021 till 31st of December 2022. So now I will convert this list to table. Before that, I will rename this step as list of dates. List of date. I will convert this list to a table. Okay. So now it has been converted to a table. And I will rename this column as dates. I will change the data type to date. Now we'll have to add column names in this table. So for that, go to add column. Click on date. Year. Add year. Select date. Click on date. Add month. Again, go to dates. Click on date. Add quarter of year. Again, go to date and add week of year. So these are these are in number format. So I will have to add for month. I will have to add month, name of month. For quarter, I will add Q1, Q2, Q3 in this format. For week as well, I will have to add week one, week two, week three. That is W1, W2, W3 in this format. 
so first of all I will add name of month so select dates click on date hover on month and you have name of month so here if you want only three characters you can do this you can go to transform and extract first characters and extract three characters from here click on ok so you'll get Jan Feb MAR now I will add column for quarter and week so for that I will go to add column add custom column here I will rename it as quarter name and add Q ampersand quarter so here it will throw me error as this Q is in text format and quarter is in integer format so what we'll have to do is we'll have to convert this uh, integer quarter into text so we'll have to write text from text dot from in this quarter so now it will return me a column where Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 will be returned similarly we'll add a week column add custom column week name W ampersand text from week of year and it's done so we have added these columns and now we can rename this as added week name click here and rename this step as well added quarter name so now I will load this table into our data model so close and apply go to data so here you can see our table is loaded uh, one more thing is left uh, we'll click on month name and sort it by month and click on quarter name and sort it by quarter go to week name and sort by week of year and the last thing is left which is go to table tools and mark it as table so select date column validate it successfully click on we have marked this as a date table so it will be helpful when calculating time intelligent functions if you want I can make it a little easier for you I will copy the step in advanced editor and provide it to you so that you can directly copy paste this step and get a date table without having to add all these details and spend this much time so I will provide this thing in the description so this was it for this video if you like the video, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.